Okay, uh, I'm just going to do a quick overview of the Anexis BC6 Bluetooth upgrade for the Bose Sound Dock. Uh, the, the upgrade has been fitted to this dock. There's no physical differences to appearance to the outside of the dock. And the dock works normally with your iPod, iPhone, iPod Touch. It does support uh, charging of the newer devices so you can fit any Apple device with the correct connector on the bottom into the dock and it will work. Volume controls work as normal. Um, Play and pause works as normal. Um, Somebody and so on. told me the world is gonna roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool. So a normal dock, okay. Now um, what we what's installed in here is a um, a Bluetooth um, circuit transmitter transponder with um, some electronics to control it. Uh, there's a lot of talk. We had customers asking. Uh, about the quality of the Bluetooth link and it's virtually indistinguishable from the the docking connector link. Uh, clearly Bluetooth has got a bad name but then if you think iPod docks have got a bad name um, this gives a great sound a lot of them don't and if you like the Bose sound you like the Bose quality uh, we were determined not to develop something which really didn't work very well because we wouldn't be happy selling it so um, go on our record and uh, try it and if you don't like the sound quality which you will I'm sure then you can just send it back, and we've had none back yet. So anyway, so we've got the Bluetooth in here. So at the moment, if I uh, go to my, this phone is connected by Bluetooth to there. Go to my music, and uh, press play. You've got the music coming out of the dock, and then you can turn the volume up and down, uh, and then change track, uh, and navigate around using the pod screen as you would as you normally would when you're playing music from your iPod with your headphones. The range is pretty good, we've got a good antenna in there, it'll do 60 plus meters outside. Indoors it much depends on the building but uh, for example in my house uh, I, can, I get coverage from my phone throughout the whole of the downstairs area and actually play from upstairs to downstairs but it will depend on your building but certainly you know, if you're in the same room or the next room you're pretty much guaranteed that the thing will work fine. Um, the dock itself, if you've got more than one Bluetooth device, so you've got a family, this is, this is in a communal, communal area where your family or other people who want to use a dock um, will come and go, then um, any phone can be paired with the dock and connect to the dock. And there's some instructions about using these buttons to pair um, and uh, to clear the memory and also to force a disconnect if you don't know who's connected. So the management's pretty simple actually. Um, so we can play, and it, for example, if you're playing here, if we play on this one, Press play. If we then hit the uh, play on, the Bluetooth will take over the dock. So that if you've got an iPad, I'll just stop that because uh, after about five seconds, the audio will revert back to the dock again when it decided that you actually have to stop streaming. You finish streaming, you don't need the Bluetooth feature anymore. It'll cut back over to the speaker. So we're back on the dock again now. So um, if you've got several people, then they can twin or pair their uh, phone or iPad to the dock and then play it. And also, if you want to charge your phone, you can leave your phone in there. What I do at my house is I have an iPod Classic in my dock all the time with all my music on. But um, if I want to, or anyone wants to play their own music, they can just go connect to the dock using the, again, the Bluetooth list, connect, and... Uh, you can then play the music and if you look here you can see on the iPhone for example all the phones vary slightly but if I hold that up you can see you can switch between the iPhone and the Nexus BC6 here so if I switch to iPhone and press play the stream comes out the phone speaker if I switch back to the BC6 the stream will come out of the, uh, the dock um, and one of the nice features I like about this as well is that um, with the phone you can uh, you can stream in on Wi-Fi and then stream out on Bluetooth for example this is Planet Rock with a, uh, an internet radio on my phone so it's a 59p app from uh, the app shop um, it's connecting, it's buffering now you've got Planet Rock coming out of your, um, out of your dock and that's a radio station streaming in streaming in over Wi-Fi so, you know, you can listen to the radio, any video source, you watch your video, have the sound coming out of the dock, connect your iPad, you know, it's fairly flexible what you can do with it. Um, 
Uh, that's about it. I can't think of anything else which is really relevant. It, just to recap that we've got good range, great sound quality, good functionality, um, and it's backed up by the Invivo guarantee. And if anyone wants to see what sort of company Invivo is, have a look on our website, click through to the eBay feedback, um, where for a service company we have excellent feedback, uh, 100%. Um, so we provide support. You call us, you've got a problem, there's someone on the phone. Generally, um, we're there to support you. So that's the Invivo Inexis BC6 Bluetooth upgrade board. If you want to see what the upgrade board looks like, there's one here. That's what's inside the unit. Um, now, you can buy this and fit it yourself. It takes about five minutes to fit. That's covered in a separate video, so I won't cover it here. Thank you.